Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today, we're diving into the metallic heart of the 2014 reboot of Robocop. We go on a journey to learn about a dedicated detective transformed into the cybernetic police officer known as Robocop, as he grapples with his identity and takes on a deeply corrupt system. Grab your drinks and let's dive right in. The film begins with a media broadcast from the Novak Element, a news program showcasing American peacekeeping robots in a country called Tehran, located in the Middle East. These robots are policing Tehranian civilians, demonstrating their tremendous power and capabilities at the cost of degradation of the civilians. Freedom fighters attack the robot army to deter the oppression of these new robot enforcers. We see as the robot force laid waste the civilian fighters, ending with the execution of a Tehranian child, all of which is seen by the public via the live broadcast. We get to meet Alex Murphy, our main protagonist, and his partner Jack Lewis. They are police officers for the city of Detroit and are tracking down a wanted arms dealer named Antoine Vallon. During their undercover operation, the officers get a lead on Vallon and can close the distance on him. Before they can bust him, the pair get ambushed by Valen's thugs. They commit to an intense gunfight and do their best to subdue the threat and chase after the criminal Valen. During their escape, Alex's partner gets shot and critically injured. Flash to Omnicorp's headquarters, we are introduced to the CEO of Omnicorp, Raymond Sellers. He discusses his desire to bring robot law enforcement from abroad in Tehran to the American streets. His debacle is that due to the Dreyfus Act, which bans the use of autonomous combat drones on US soil, it is illegal to use peacekeeping military robots to enforce American law on US citizens. Knowing Murphy and his partner were close to catching Valen the first time, Valen and two corrupt police officers come up with a plan to rig Murphy's car with high explosives while he is visiting his injured partner in the hospital. When Murphy arrives home, all is well until his car alarm begins to sound. He clicks his remote to turn the alarm off, but it's not working. When Murphy approaches the sounding vehicle, it bursts into flames in a fiery explosion, with Murphy alongside it. We see Murphy's mutilated body in critical condition after the bombing, and he is projected to have an extremely low chance that he will survive. Sellers, Omnicorp CEO, sees this catastrophic event as an opportunity. He decides to offer Murphy's wife an option to save her husband's life by fusing what's left of him with Omnicorp's robotic technology. She agrees, but this is all part of Seller's plan to circumvent the Dreyfus Act. This would in turn save Murphy's life and make Omnicorp the forefront of cutting-edge law enforcement in the US. Dr. Dennett Norton, Omnicorp's lead scientist, works on Murphy, saving only the salvageable parts of him such as his head, lung, heart, and right hand. Murphy awakens in horror upon seeing his new robotic state. He is unsettled to see that he survived the explosion and whatever is left of him is infused in wires and circuitry. In a frantic state, he escapes his confinement to learn he is in a research and development facility in the country of China. His escape is foiled and he is brought back to the lab for reprogramming. Trying to adapt to life in his new body, Murphy undergoes training with a ruthless combat instructor Maddox who is used to commanding robot enforcers in countries abroad. Initially, Murphy is outperformed by robots during the live training tests, but after some modifications to his brain, Murphy's efficiency improves. He becomes more robotic in nature and far more lethal in combat situations, completely dominating live fire tests against state-of-the-art AI robots. Defying the odds and proving he is far more capable than Omnicorp expected. Because of their recent success, Omnicorp decided they want to go public and reveal Robocop to the Detroit citizens in an extravagant showcase. Just before Robocop is unveiled, Murphy is given access to the DPD database and classified archives via a mental upload by Dr. Norton. During the upload, Murphy finds his own police file showing the catastrophic event of his attempted murder. He goes into a hysteria. Dr. Norton, knowing that the entire world is awaiting the Robocop showcase, configures software to subdue Murphy's conscience from the Robocop machine. When the new Robocop is unveiled to the public, he begins assessing the criminal database live in front of the audience, identifying and arresting a wanted criminal in front of everyone, including his family. Demonstrating Robocop's abilities now exceed that of the human police officers. 
With access to all the police records and databases, Murphy begins to investigate his own attempted murder. He manages to narrow his search down by finding the same street thug he was investigating while he was undercover. He tells him that Valen has a weapons depot not too far from where they currently are and that he might be there. Robocop storms the depot and takes out Valen's henchmen with lethal accuracy and efficiency, hoping to get closer to solving his own murder case. Upon identifying Valen, Robocop neutralizes him with a vengeful authority. He then scans Valen's weapons nearby. He discovers the weaponry containing the fingerprints of police officers from his own precinct. Walking into the police headquarters shot up and damaged, Robocop makes his way to his fellow police officers. Disclosing that he knows they are responsible for dirty dealing with Valen and to admit to their crimes. One of the corrupt officers draws his weapon to kill Murphy but is neutralized with blinding speed. Murphy subdues the other conspiring officer before making his way to the police chief. Upon confronting the police chief about illicit and illegal activity she is guilty of, he is abruptly shut down by Omnicorp's control team, fearing more casualties might transpire. Public opinion against the Dreyfus Act is swayed once knowledge of Robocop toking out corrupt police officers becomes virally promoted on local news. People seeing that having robotic law enforcement can be a good thing, which is exactly what Omnicorp wanted. Omnicorp, now in fear of Murphy's personal vendetta against the people who harmed him, decided to terminate the Robocop liability and start fresh with new, more controllable robot enforcers without human variables. Knowing Omnicorp's horrible plans, Dr. Norton sneaks back into his laboratory to wake up Robocop before Sellers' men can pull the plug on Murphy. He is able to reach him just in the nick of time and they are both able to escape the facility. Now understanding the true conspirators are the Omnicorp Corporation and Sellers, Robocop sets his sights on saving his family from the clutches of the evil CEO. When Murphy reaches the Omnicorp headquarters, he is confronted by an extremely large force of soldiers and mechs. Putting everything he has on display, Robocop is able to get past the soldiers and neutralize one of the mechs before getting his arm caught underneath it. He shoots his arm off and is able to escape deeper into the facility thanks to the help of his partner. Navigating the building, Robocop is ambushed by Maddox, one of Seller's henchmen. He uses a red device to interfere with Robocop's software, making Robocop's targeting system fail and easy pickings for Maddox. Before Maddox can terminate Robocop, Lewis, Murphy's old partner, saves his life by shooting Maddox in the back, allowing Robocop to continue to pursue Sellers and save his family. On the roof of the Omnicorp building, Sellers is holding Dr. Norton and Murphy's family as hostages. In the climax of the film, Sellers and Murphy are at a standoff, with Sellers threatening to kill Murphy and his family because he is in control of Robocop's programming. In a Herculean attempt to fight the robotic programming Sellers installed, Murphy is able to bypass his targeting system by tapping into his human spirit and shoot Sellers before sustaining a critical injury himself. In the end, the Dreyfus Act is upheld, and Murphy survives but remains Robocop. Dr. Norton continues working on him, and Murphy's journey as Robocop continues, protecting the city and the ones he loves. So, there you have it, Robocop 2014. If you've seen it, drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if there's another movie you want us to recap, let us know. Thanks for watching Cheeseburger Movies, and until next time, stay cinematic.